Princeton, and then uh, I've got uh, like Samford and SIU and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's it's just been a lot. Like the last four, four or five weeks have just been hectic for me, just recruiting and official visits and just so many coaches that came through and yeah, it's been rough. Well, I want to go up to Tulane this weekend for an official visit and uh, see New Orleans and see the campus and everything. And then depending on how I like that, I'll probably commit somewhere either there or Georgia State or somewhere else. All right, and it's not, it's not for you it's not only football, right? It's, yes, a, it's academics too, right? Oh, yeah, right? for sure. I, like, I definitely I want to go pre-med, and so um, I just got to find like the right place that has a good balance of both. Yeah, I mean, because the big schools, they, they don't get guys on their board sometimes, and then uh, the, they might come sniffing around, and never know. And then um, I don't really know if that's, like, something that I'm, like, looking forward to after signing day. I just, the reason I'm waiting till after signing day is because I want to go up to Tulane this weekend to, to kind of see the place. Right. Um, Bailey Starr has gotten some attention. Philip, Philip Moultrie, McKenzie. Um, Devin, Devin's getting a lot of attention for 2018, and uh, I think it's just it's really opening up Matanzas to the recruiting world because we've kind of been in that dead zone for a long time right, exactly. between Daytona and Saint Ong, so coaches normally didn't used to come that way, and so I think it's it's really opening up Flagler County as a whole for recruiting. So, so you're helping blaze that trail. Yep, yeah. I mean it's just. It's been a good ride, that's all I can say. And um, the first two years were, were a little uh, rough. I didn't know what I was expecting and if I was gonna even make it to the next level for football. And then uh, Coach Ripley came in and changed it around. And I can only say those last two years of my football career were probably the best years of my life. Yeah, it sure. was fun, it was a fun group. Yeah, I mean, we just, we just came together as a team and, and really played for each other. And I think at the end of the day, that's what made us so successful. Yeah.